Hello, my name is Tony McLean. I'm the Chief Executive of St Joseph's Hospice in Hackney. And I want to take this opportunity to uh, send a message out to all of those that have supported us over many years. At this time of great concern and uncertainty, I want to reach out to update you with how we're dealing with uh, coronavirus today and how that's affecting the, uh, the hospice. Our main priority at St Joseph's is to continue caring for our end of life patients at the hospice, in their home and in the communities. We'll make sure that our work does not stop. At present, our nurses, doctors, professionals and care teams and volunteers are continuing to support our end of life patients on wards and in their communities. Many of our support services have been provided by phone. We'll be offering as much counselling, bereavement support and advice as we can, which has become only more critical in the current crisis. More importantly, the health and safety of our supporters, staff and the public is paramount, and we will not risk a potential infection. We are closely monitoring the coronavirus situation and are strictly following NHS guidelines and government protocols, whilst also putting in place protocols to pr protect our local community. This has made us have to make some difficult decisions, namely that of closing uh, wards to visitors other than for the most unwell. We've had to make some difficult choices over the past days and weeks and have cancelled all planned fundraising activities and events, which will have a significant impact on our finances in the weeks and months to come. We've also had to close our two shops in line with government policy which has also provided us with a, a charitable income stream which is now close to us. While we continue to support our local community and the NHS, we hope that you will be able to support our wonderful clinical staff who are on the front line offering the very best in care during these difficult times. During these challenging times, we need your support more than ever so that we can face this pandemic together. In the next few weeks, we'll be launching an appeal to ensure that we can continue to support our local community in these most difficult of times. If you'd like to donate now, please donate online at www.stjh.org.uk. Thank you for taking time to listen to this message. Be safe and well, and hopefully my next update will be on a more positive note. Thank you and thank you for your continued support.